Have you ever been in a situation that escalated quickly? There are a host of funny pictures online with that tagline. For example, I don't know who organized this magazine rack, but you have uh, Jennifer Aniston on this top one getting inside the proposal, and then the next one getting married, and then it's over. Uh, which I'm assuming these were released at different times, but still on the same rack. Or you have this one, uh, 14 pancakes serving, and it jumps to 132 pancakes. Uh, there's really no middle ground, just a handful or all of them. Or this last one, road may be subject to sudden catastrophic sinkhole collapse. A couple of years ago, and it's hard to believe you can even say that, but the beginning of 2020, things kind of escalated really quickly with the COVID situation. We were watching that there was a virus on the news and overseas, and then all of a sudden we're in lockdown, and then things just continued to escalate. But another thing escalated during that time, and it was depression. According to the Brink at Boston University, depression among adults in the United States tripled in the early 2020 months due to the COVID situation and then new research from Boston University School of Public Health revealed that elevated rate of depression persisted into 2021 and even worsened, affecting one in every three American adults. Causes and sources of depression may vary from being something that's physiological phenomenon within the brain to something that's situational, but it's a feeling of intense sorrow or even sometimes meaninglessness or hopelessness, but it's not new to us. Scripture is filled with people who dealt with a lot of sorrow and even feelings of meaninglessness. And ultimately, even Jesus himself was sorrowful. He said, even to death, Matthew 26, 38. This can be tough, but that same Jesus who understands those depths is with us in that mind-filled battle too. We're going to talk more about that and how on Sunday. Hope to see you there.